what up what up it's garage gym homie and today i'm reviewing abl pharma fentamine xt pharmaceutical grade fat burner <laughs> oh homies is it worth it before we get into this here please click the subscribe button i got content coming out every day for you so click subscribe and let's get into this man this review was brought to you by the big homie at musclefactorysc.com i'm gonna link it below discount code ggh15 i don't think you can get this hitter anymore but i'm still reviewing it's been on the shelf and uh i was gonna say this they got all the hitters, man. You hit the boys up over there at Muscle Factory SC. They get you good dope to you in a couple days, man. We're done monkeying around, man. You can also hit me in the email, garagegymhomie at gmail.com. That's the official GGH email, homies. You can hit me there. We could talk God, spirituality. Uh, if you want a list of supplements I'm getting rid of super cheap. Uh, if you want coaching, you want to talk to me about your problem, you're an addict and alcoholic suffering, you want uh, someone to guide you through the 12 steps, man, I'm here for you, man. God bless you. Let's get into this here, man. Let's get into this. So this, I got two products by them. I've had a couple tubs sitting, sealed up tubs. Uh, I got one left. Uh, one of them I gave to somebody. I got one left of their uh, Fentaplex which I've been hesitant to use, man, because I've been, um, I had a horrible experience with Excelsior. So I'm not saying it's like Excelsior, it is Excelsior. It's been compared to Excelsior. And that alone, comparing it to Excelsior, is enough for me to be very hesitant. Number one, I'm a recovered addict to alcoholic. I'm attempting, I fall short a lot, I'm attempting to be very cautious about these kind of supplements, man. I already teeter on the line of, you know, the gray area, all that stuff, man. So when, when I hear Excelsior, just the word, I feel like I'm doing something wrong in my life, man, because the way it made me feel was super cringe, homies. So anyway, man, so anyway, I know a lot of you are gonna hit me up and say, it's nothing like Excelsior, it's like a really good DMAA, or it's this, or it's that. It's way cleaner, you don't have the negative side effect. Well, I might try it, man. I'm not saying I'm not gonna try. I've been, I've been trying to get the cojones up, man. To, I've been trying to muster up the courage to try a scoop of that hitter, man. But so far, I got enough stuff holding me over. So anyway, man, this is the fat burner from the company. So I kind of didn't know what to expect, but I did know what to expect. So on one hand, uh, shout out to my big homie, uh, TJ Fitness Deal News, he reviewed this, and of course I watched it, so I know he had a bunk experience with it, so I pretty much figured my experience would be the same, but then on the other hand, I thought maybe, you know, just like a lot of people had tubs of that Fenoplex that were bunk, maybe some of them were good, so I thought, well, maybe I could take this and it could be amazing, because it seems like the company's kind of shoddy with their consistency, so... I took the hitter, man. We're going to talk about the experience, man. Supplement facts, one capsule. Servings per container, 60, homies. Uh, they're giving you caffeine and hydrous 350. Well, they're not. I don't know if they're giving it to you. They're, I, we're going to talk facts or feelings, homie. It's facts or the ABL Pharma people might be watching that. Rachel Maddow, Don Lemon over there, man. Hopefully not. DMHA, 100 milligrams. Yeah. Uh... Ethereal root extract, 80 milligrams, Sinephrine, 100 milligrams, and Hortonine, 45 milligrams. So this is a nice looking formula if it's legit. Anyway, man, so uh, I took the hitter, man. I came to the dance floor. I actually did abs with it. Uh, all I hit was abs. I hit them once a week and uh, went throughout my day. And then uh, here I am reviewing it for you, homies. So I took one capsule. Uh, as expected, this did absolutely nothing, man. Literally felt to me like 100 milligrams of caffeine. Um, I was trying to kind of look for the nootropic effect, even not an illicit nootropic effect. I, I thought maybe there was some kind of 
alpha GPC type of legit nootropic effect. It just wasn't there for me, dog. It, it, it just wasn't there for me. This did absolutely nothing. And I, I'm not gonna monkey around and take two of them, three of them, four. Listen, man, I, a lot of people came to me after my bottle rocket review. When I say a lot of people, I, I mean about five people, man. That's, that's a lot to me. Yeah, I keep a close circle, man. So five people is a lot. So about five people came to me after the bottle rocket review and they said, Oh, GGH, that bottle rocket's actually legit, man. You got to do two scoops or you got to do 18 grams. The serving was 14. I took 14. Oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. I'm a reviewer, man. So as a reviewer, I'm reviewing it based on what they tell me the serving is. I I'm not going to take three times the dose. I'm not going to take two scoops of bottle rocket come on YouTube and say, a oh, bottle rocket's great, man. I, no, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm, I'm reviewing it based on what they're telling me is the serving, man, based on what I should be taking. So, you know, that's like this Fentaplex. They're giving you a scoop. They're giving you a serving. I know that the people who had the desired effects took a scoop. Well, that's a little different. You know, they gave you a scoop, so maybe I'm going to take a full scoop, you know, since they gave you the scoop and clearly the label's BS. This is nonsense here. Complete, utter nonsense, which actually, surprisingly enough, I was happy about because I felt like every day where I take like a real low stim or no stim, or <laughs> it's like a win for me because I'm keeping my tolerance low. So there was actually... Uh, some blessings in it, man. So then the next time I take a high stim, I don't feel like I've been burning my brain out all week. So they, I got over on them, really. They thought they got over on GGH, these ABL Pharma people, but really, we're the ones winning, man, because when we keep our tolerance down and we don't take all those crazy stims, it's better for the next time, man. So that's what I got for you, man. Always blessings to see in these things. And uh, I pretty much took this knowing that this was going to be a, a low to no stim day based on uh, my big homie's review, you know, because um, that, that's a trusted source. And um, I'm just going to say this, man. I'm going to keep you posted. I'm probably going to review that Fenaplex soon, even though you can't get it. But it's been sitting here, man. So I'm going to take a crack at it uh, soon enough here. Just hope it doesn't disrupt my sleep because I don't, I don't like anything that does that. I'm going to take it at like 7 a.m. and see what's going on. Maybe I'll start with like three quarters of a scoop or whatever it is. I'll see. Anyway, man, that's what I got for you. This, this did nothing, man. A little, it felt like 100 milligrams of caffeine and definitely no nootropic feeling for me. Nothing else except um, like enough energy. It's like the dope man gave you a little taste. Enough energy just to not get your caffeine headache for the day if that's something you struggle with. Anyway, man, that's what I got for you. Garage gym homies, always gonna give it to you straight till the end of days. If you like the review, subscribe. I gotta get this merchandise in order, man. People asking me where they can get the tanks, the hats, uh, the hoodies. I'm gonna get the sweatpants. I'm gonna get it in order, man, I promise. That's what I got. Together, let's get this dang muscle. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, also subscribe to the channel, man. God bless all of you. I'm out.